Well, here's a Toshiba VCR. It's high speed rewind, forehead. So, that well, was a local purchase at a Goodwill for $350. So, it's a cool old machines. Let's see if let's see what's wrong with it. I'm sure this probably something is. Got it on the dim bulb tester turned on. Um, power on. Oh, it's trying to load. Let's see, does it do it? And, oh, oh, it's got a bunch of tape spewing out. We kill power. So it looks like the take-up reel isn't spinning. So let's go ahead and take the mechanism out. I'll go ahead and dig this tape back out and uh, pull the mechanism and see what's going on with it. Okay, so I got the loading mechanism off on this thing. And as I turn the uh, loading gear down here, and the whole mechanism kind of goes through its process. What I've noticed is that this little thing right here, this gear is, that's the take up gear, or take up wheel. This little take up gear here, and this is supposed to move all the way over to engage that gear uh, to make it go, and it's, it's not, not happening. So I think that's the, uh, that's the issue. I may have to pull this off and see what's going on underneath there. Okay, I think I may have found it. I'm going to reach my hand under here and just turn that uh, the spindle, uh, the captain, captain gear. So driving from down there, that's the captain motor, and then it comes up here, and that's the real driving mechanism. So as I spin that in various directions, so there's the take up direction, and then I spin it to the other direction and it does engage eventually but see how slow it is I think it's just gummed up so and I've been moving a little bit so I think it's loosened up so I think I'll pull this off and maybe lubricate that and see if I can get it to move a little bit better see if that fixes this one okay I wound up not even pulling that this thing off here I just uh, sprayed a little electronics lubricant and now let me rotate this back and forth. Let's see. It seems to go back and forth and engage properly with those gears. So let me reassemble this, see if that fixes the issue. Um, yeah, let's give that a try. Okay, I get that back together, and the main issue is figuring out how to get this loading mechanism back in properly so that the tape makes it makes it move forward. I definitely had that all messed up so I had to study the mechanism to really figure that out. It looks like I had to figure it out finally so I'll try putting the uh, mechanism back in the chassis and see if it works. Okay got the mechanism back in the chassis. Power turned on. I'll try, try this out. It's loading the tape, and it is playing, and the take-up reel is turning. And uh, now we can fast forward. There it goes. Goes into fast, super fast forward mode motion. There it goes. And rewind. Yeah, that works too. Back to play. And eject. And it ejects the tape without eating it. So, looks like this one is working. And once again, it was just this little mechanism right down here that had gummed up a little bit and wasn't freely swinging back and forth to engage the take-up reel. So a little bit of lube and that seems to be fixed so I'll go try this 
inside to make sure it plays, but looks like we're in good shape. Okay, got the old Toshiba plugged into the TV here. Let's take a tape and give this a try. Yeah, loads up. Looks like it's kind of working. And there we go. Auto tracking is working. And there we go. So everything's working right. We could do fast forward. Play. Rewind. Backwards view. And eject. And power off. So that was working fine. So it was just the uh, little idler wheel uh, thing, whatever you call that, that uh, switches back and forth and engages in the forward and reverse uh, take up reels. So that just needs a little lubrication and uh, that's it. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.